beloved Tejiachin, dear Shamashin, dear parents, and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we were supposed to have Malayalam Kurbani, but we started the song and we don't want to change into Malayalam because the purpose is that you all have to go back and get your books. But the problem is going to be solved very soon because we have the last three days uh, the Dyson Assembly meeting and the liturgical committee is going to come with a book, a combined book. It will be in four parts. The first part will be the commentary, the explanation of all the service. The first part will be, then the second part will be the Malayalam, the English and then the translation. So what is our role? That today we need to sign up for a Kurbana Karam to purchase. One for our church, for every member of this church. This, it would be a small book. Second, we all need to buy one for a personal, one for our houses. It is a study Kurbana Karam too. Because normally in our Kurbana Karam, we don't see a commentary added to our Kurbana Karam. So we need to pre-order. I, I think this church must order at least close to 1000 books. The purpose of this is that every person in our house must study the Kurbana Karam. They understand the meaning of the Kurbana Karam. What does every part of the Kurbana Karam explains to us so that our liturgy becomes so divine. And we participate in this, this Kurbana. So may God bless you but I am not going to shift to Malayalam because you all have to go back, it's a distraction. But I will add a little bit Malayalam too, and next Sunday also we'll be having the English uh, uh, service. So let me come to this passage in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 14 to 20. Can be divided into two parts. The first part explains that Jesus Christ, after his baptism, he is listening. He, after the baptism, he is hearing this word You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. Itra manoharamaya ur shabda sorgatul nukhetata. What happens immediately is that he is going to the wilderness for 40 days. And then it says he is having, he was with the wild beasts and the angels waited on him. Malarathi parayinada, margangala odum, adhani sesham parayinada, malagamar avani sushichita parayinada. Jesus Christ in wilderness in the desert for 40 days with the wild beast and he was served by the angels. Today we are going to enter the three day Lent. The Lenten prayers will be tonight with the three day Lent. But the Lent will start from tomorrow and we will be having a Kurban on Wednesday evening, the three day Lent. It's our journey along with Christ into the wilderness because there will be a lot of food that we, which we have to say, stay away for three days. The angel has to serve us. What does that mean? That we need to have these three days continuous prayers. Nirandramaya Prathana Namada Kurumangalin Namada Kunyangala Jivitrundavana. Christ is showing us an example that even though he was with the wild beast, what is the purpose? Looks all the, the icons of the angels. Our unbudene pardon to the Varada, Maladamar, Direndramaye, Devate Stubikiva. Today it is our responsibility. Every day in our life we need to continuously pray. There are families in, our, in the Orthodox Church, we don't pray at least one time in a day. Urdosumal Pratikyata, Anea Gurumalanda. We make excuses for everything. Let us set apart these three days in prayer and in fasting. The second thing, I'm sorry to say, Lissy Auntie. Renji Angul, Ella Sunday and Kurbar, and a Tirich of Ombo, Angul or Karim Bore. They may Oko Angil, Arthur Naraja, Pinneka. I have another pile of props and get from that. So, what, what does that relate to us? Every Kurbana we attend, we have to feel and we have to believe this is the last Kurbana in my life. We don't know what is going to happen. So let us think and think that how much actively I was participating in the last Kurbana I, I participated. We all have to consistently say that you all have to open your books. Why? Because we don't feel that this is my last Kurbana I am attending. And that comes along with the line with the second passage 
where Jesus is inviting his disciples. Yesu Kristu thana sishyanmare vilichu parayva, come and follow me. Enne vilichu veru irikkuva. Today morning we got this divine call. Each and every one, even our parents must have called us in the morning. Namak akke uru deiva vuli ondai. What was the, the, the divine call that I need to attend this kurbana? That is the divine call in us that we need to participate. We need to feel that this is the last kurbana I am attending. So I need to actively participate because God has one day of the day and the day of the day and the day of the day and the day of the day. So what is our responsibility that when we go back we need to repent. We need to ask forgiveness before we end. We restart the great land. Now, wonder, this is the second thing which I need to explain to you. It's a divine call and we need to think that this is the last Kurban I am attending. The third thing which I like to explain. Why we come to the church? We can do all these things. We can fast. We can pray. We can worship God. Then why we need to come to church? This is the place. We need to separate Pratnala. When the bishop or the Catholic takes the holy moron and he blesses each door and this place is set apart. This place is consecrated and set apart. Why? Because this throne represents God Almighty. Devat in the Sanatimana Ethronos. Adinidikina Kurisha, the cross on the throne represents Christ. And the third thing, the lights. Not the lighted ones, the candles. The candles represents the Holy Spirit. Pidavande, Uttarande, Parishuddhatmande, Sangam, Vishuddha Gurbani, I like it, consecrate in the way we are in Ganatil. We set apart and we come to this divine place to worship. Our Bodhya Thoda Vodi Aradhani Samadhi Kyanta Kamasadhi Kyanta. Angan very bold, we will be having faith in God Almighty. And that faith will lead us to pray consistently. And that prayer will lead us to repentance. That is Christ saying in this gospel, Repent. Mana sandra padavi. Vishwasa undaya vari manichana matrame prarthi kya amatra tullu. Prarthi ne ullla manichana matrame anadavi kya amatra tullu. E anadavata sangamatthal kanuvan vendi. Aradhani ki verimbol. We look at this throne. And then we look unto the cross. That's why some of the actions, I do that one. Enne padavi shangana. Yangal parayin andu ar. Yangal thiri nya. Nokia na guru sila orang ta, jiwan nalar na raksha agar ma guru sila ek Nokia, even ni lebih maik itu. So the Father, the Son and the Spirit. So some of the churches we only have four of them. I think we need to light everything because the Spirit of the Lord it represents the Holy Spirit. The bulb will not replace with the Holy Spirit. Adam lama nasi lagi. The last thing before I end. Next two Sundays is very important in the calendar, the liturgical calendar. The next Sunday we remember all the departed clergy. Make sure that you all write the names of the departed clergy you have come across. And the next Sunday, it will be, we will be remembering all the departed. The Randa Sunday is very important before we enter the Great Land. There are 18 days from next Sunday before we start, uh, before the, the third, three day Lent, the end of the three day Lent, there are 18 days and there are two Sundays. The two Sundays remember all the clergy. And the next Sunday followed by the next Sunday we will be remembering all the departed people. Make sure the next two Sundays we need our Kurbana, remember the names of the Kurbana will be full because we have to take an initiative to write the names of all the departed clergy and all our dear departed. May God Almighty continue to bless and guide you as we prepare this service. Let me remind let us all be active and think that this is the last Kurbana. I am not going to be distracted by anybody because I am looking into the altar where God is present, where Christ is seated and the Holy Spirit is, is in the flame. May God bless you.